Hello guys and welcome back to the Zhang Investing. Some of the rumors I'm hearing about AMC are quite damaging. So I believe it's imperative that we discuss what's happening there. Therefore, we will be constructive in this video. It is the fact that AMC will immediately sell all of these shares on the market. No, that is not how things operate, okay? They have the authority to issue X shares, correct? If their authorized outstanding share count is approximately 530 million, they are permitted to have approximately 530 million shares outstanding. Theoretically, they can raise approximately 450 million shares through a 1 for 10 reverse stock split and a tenfold reduction. However, why would they do this? Because of. Let's consider this matter logically. Perhaps you issue only a few million shares when the share price of AMC is extremely high after the reverse split. And now, let's do some elementary mathematics. We will not engage in anything too wild. But let's say it's Saturday when this video was recorded. The last known price of AMC stock was $3.92. Let's simply state, after the division, ANC stock is around $39 per share. If Adam Aaron wanted to say, hey, let's just sell 3 million shares, he would have to do so. AMC would raise $117 million in capital with a negligible amount of dilution, particularly in comparison to previous situations. Now, 3 million, 5 million, the number 10 million. Choose your number. It makes no difference. That's correct. AMC management, however, is what I believe makes the most logical sense and what I believe many people are ignoring. They would want the price of AMC stock to rise before selling it because it does not expire. They are permitted to issue up to 530 million shares. It could be 10 years in the future. It makes no difference whether they still have shares they can issue in 20 years or 50 years. That's correct. Therefore, the rumor that Adam Aaron and AMC will dump AMC stock on the market as soon as they get the opportunity is not accurate. This makes no theoretical difference, other than the reverse divide. That's correct. Consider that if you are an AMC investor and you held your Orangutan stock, you also held your AMC. Nothing else has changed here. The opposite division. Nothing else has changed until AMC sells stock and dilutes shareholder value. The question is to what extent AMC will truly dilute its shareholders. How much inventory do they plan to sell? And I cannot comprehend why they would enter the market and sell 5 billion, 100 million shares. When the stock price falls, that's correct. They would want the share price to rise. Now, I believe to some extent, if AMC comes out and actually raises capital and secures a great contract, that's correct. As I previously stated, selling 3 million, 5 million, or 10 million shares in order to raise $100 million to $300 million or $400 million could be beneficial for AMC stock. If everyone expects AMC to unload on the market and flood the stock with new shares, we will be diluted. What if we only receive a minuscule portion of that dilution? Maybe this could be used as a type of ammunition, right? You don't have to release everything at once, correct? You have the option to choose when to dilute. Now, I will agree that this does cast a sort of shadow over AMC, but it decimates the brief thesis. Currently, there are no brief theses remaining in AMC, so this is another fact. Depending on how many primates still own AMC stock, the short interest ranges from 100 to 200 percent if free flow is considered. At the time of the recording of this video, AMC Live's short interest of free float was 27.45 percent and you were short 141.71 million shares. Now it is more difficult to sort of bring to the location of the synthetic trousers. The current short positions held by market makers as a result of option trading. And there has been a great deal of pessimistic option trading. There have been numerous synthetic sells on AMC stock for quite some time. So, if retail still holds 80% of AMC's float, or even 50% of AMC's float, AMC could be short. Free float ranges from 100 to over 200%. Everyone engaged in this arbitrage trade in response to this announcement, correct? The markets have already accounted for this. It is highly unlikely that the reverse division will occur, followed by a further 25% decline. It is already a part of AMC. 
and this is why you observe a 25% decline on Friday after hours. So, in essence, shorts hold a massive short position in which there is nothing left in this transaction. Now, I believe that a large number of individuals have forgotten that within the last 36 or 24 hours, this trade was facilitated by the cost of borrowing fees. Also, it is essentially unprofitable for these products. The longer they remain in this trade, the less lucrative it actually is. This Friday's 25% decline in AMC does not compensate for the 500, 1000, or 3000% cost to borrow fees that these hedge funds have been paying for months. This can be expressed as the daily interest payment. If there are 365 days per year, these expenses are collected on a on a daily basis, including vacations. If you are at 365% cost of borrowing fees, you are paying an average of 1% per day. This transaction took months. That's correct. Therefore, even with 200% cost to borrow fees, if you have been in a short position for several months, you have lost money. Therefore, I believe there is a strong incentive to exit many of these short positions. And I believe that many hedge funds and institutions have a similar perspective. Once you receive the court's decision, it would be prudent to cover your short position and sell your chimpanzee stock. On this news immediately, clearly after hours on a Friday, this is not what one would anticipate seeing. However, I'm intrigued to see how AMC trades on Monday. It wouldn't surprise me if the ape stock fell if this narrative were to gain traction and the AMC stock were to experience a decent rebound. Therefore, bear this in mind. This is a distinct possibility as well. However, the way I ultimately view this situation is that the brief thesis is destroyed. Ank has the means to raise capital if it so chooses. A small quantity of capital raised is actually a good thing, because the dilution is minimal compared to the amount of capital raised, right? And I believe that individuals are mistaken. Adam Aaron is the ANC. They do not wish to sell AMC stock when it is trading at extremely low levels. Yes, indeed. They would prefer to end the party when a short squeeze occurs. But given the size and scope of AMC and the prospective short squeeze, not even Adam Aaron would sell stock. In addition to any prospective short squeeze. Now, I also want you to recall the largest AMC rallies that have occurred in the past. January and June of 2021 were also present. Why did the stock price increase twice? It was because the AMC consistently raised capital. You now hold the record for the length of time on the list, the number of securities on the threshold list, and the number of FETs that are due. On Friday, we observed approximately 12.7 million FETs that were due on Monday. You'll begin with 116 million gold. You will grow to 14 million, then 13 million, then 12.6 million, and finally 11 million. Consequently, the feds for all of next week are extremely high. Not to mention the publicity that AMC will experience. There will be a great deal more persons discussing AMC who have not yet joined. A span of one or two years. Isn't that so? There is something new with AMC that cannot be quantified. However, I believe that would be net favorable, correct? Positive net. Therefore, this concludes this video. Click the like icon. Subscribe to the channel and post any comments, queries, or concerns in the section below. Enjoy the remainder of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.